Hey brothers and sisters, I wanted to kind of have a heart to heart with you. Um, this shouldn't take that long. Hopefully not. You know that in the last days, you're going to see a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot that Jesus Christ prophesied, a lot of what's going on. And in these last days, you're going to have to wear the full armor of God like never before. You already know that there are people that are just already deceived and didn't seek God's counsel, so thereby committing blasphemy already. But it doesn't have to be that way for you. You're going to have people that are going to come up to you and they're going to try to convince you why their ways are their ways. In other words, you're going to have people that will come up to you with their own interpretation of what God's word says. You have to be careful because people like that are not being led by the Holy Spirit or using the Holy Spirit as a means of interpreting the word of God. I just want you to be very careful, saints. Extremely. And, um... I just want you to... Understand that in these last days, even God's elect can be deceived by the lying signs and wonders performed by Satanists. Satanists meaning false prophets, their fans, false people, leaders, pastors. You just have to be very careful in these days and, and make sure you test the spirits. I had one brother in Christ come up to me today, um, said that he received a doctrine from a false prophet I exposed, his name was, uh, false prophet I exposed was Rody 6119 He said that Rody told him that God said that He told us, he was going to tell us the season, but not the day and hour. But God told Rhodey that this rapture was going to be in September 2015, but didn't give a day and hour. I told this gentleman not to listen to that Satanist, because he's a known false prophet, and I showed him. I showed him. I had him go back on Rhodey's channel and look at all the times that he prophesied, you know, the rapture in 2013 and 14, and how he still keeps going. And how the word of God says that if a prediction, if he sends out a false prophet, that prophecy doesn't come to pass. If he sends out, I'm not sorry, not a false prophet. If a prophet comes, if a prophet claims to speak in the name of Jesus Christ, and they prophesy something, and it doesn't come to pass, that is a prophet God never sent. That person's a false prophet. Do not be afraid to speak against them. I showed him that word, and I showed him the word, the word of God also says, if a prediction comes true, that person was sent by God. But this person wrote his predictions never come true, so he wasn't sent by God. And I said it to this brother in Christ. I said, you see the discrepancy here? He is the prophet of Satan, not Jesus Christ. And then I showed him a scripture that says that no man knows the day nor the hour. And I think it's Acts chapter 1 verse 7 that says it's not for man to know the season of things. Because everything has a season. Um... It's not for you to know when the season's going to be, because no man knows the day or the hour. It's for you to watch for that season, and then just keep watching and preparing for Jesus Christ. Do I believe this is the last generation? In my opinion, yes. Do I believe this is the season? In my opinion, yes, but I'm not stating that as fact, okay? Because you can't assume something's a season because you don't know. Only God knows and only Jesus Christ controls those events. He, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ controls everything. So that's why I explained to him 
And I told them, the word of God says, no man knows the day or the hour. So God's not going to tell this false prophet, rotund demon, Rody 1669, when the rapture's going to be. Okay? And I told him that. And he said, you're right. And he said, I almost got deceived. I, I, I thank God. He said that he prayed to God about it. And God had told him that something in his, God told him in his spirit that something about Rody's claim was wrong. So this brother in Christ decided to seek two people. First, he went to his pastor in his church. The church that he goes to is one of the few churches that talks about heaven and hell. That preaches sin, calls out sin as being, you know, preaches again, preaches that sin, preaches about sin being bad. You're not supposed to live in, uh, in disobedience to God. You're supposed to live righteous before God's eyes because the laws in the Old and New Testament do matter. You're supposed to follow that. And he talks about heaven and hell and he preaches the true word of God, his pastor. So he went to his pastor, excuse me. And asked him the same thing that he asked me. And the pastor told him, told him the same exact thing that I just told you. No man knows the day or the hour. God controls everything. We're not supposed to know when the season's going to be. If the rapture, we're supposed to watch for it. Because you cannot, God's not going to tell you certain, God's not going to tell you things. Only what he wants you to know. And that only God knows the seasons and God can, you know, only God can control everything. We cannot control these things. Only God does. You cannot know the events that God has control over. Okay, God will only tell you what he wants you to know. We don't know the day nor the hour. The pastor told him exactly the same thing I told him. And then the brother in Christ goes to me. So when I spoke to my pastor and I spoke to you, two individuals who don't know each other, I knew that that was the Holy Spirit working through the both of you, speaking very loudly, saying that this roadie person is a false prophet. And that what he's saying also didn't align with the word of God because the pastor this gentleman spoke to also showed him scripture backing up that, th that no man knows the day nor the hour. That we're not supposed to know the season of things. We're supposed to watch. Only God knows the season. God controls everything. That's testing the spirits, ladies and gentlemen. Because the Bible says a, a testimony of two establishes a testimony. That's testing the spirits and that's exactly what this gentleman did. Okay, so that was good that he asked, he went to God first, he took my advice, that's good that he went to his pastor, and that's good that he asked me, he went to God, but the most important thing is he went to God first and asked if, if Rody was a false prophet. Then he, then he looked at the word of God and saw something was wrong with Rody's claim. Then he talked to a pastor that he trusts. I say trust no man, you only trust um, trust Jesus Christ. Only trust God. And if God sends you a man of one, a God of uh, a man of God, a woman of God, you could trust them. But you must always test the spirits first. Trust Jesus Christ. Only I say, and the most. So he had a pastor that he talks to, and then he went to me. So that's testing the spirits. That's how he found out that Rody was a false prophet. So it is a false prophet, and is full of demons. So. Try, try to be very diligent on your walk with Christ and not let anybody deceive you. Because it's that, it's very e you can get deceived very easily if you're not careful. If you are not careful and, and cautious with your walk with the Most High. You have to be extremely careful, ladies and gentlemen. Now, these are the last days. You already know that. You know the times that we're living in are very perilous. They're getting worse. So this is a time that you can't afford to fall off the path because somebody's trying to lie to you. You must try and test the spirits to see if they are of God, like it says in 1 John, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. You must test spirits <clears throat> no matter who they are your pastor your mother your father whoever they are even if you hear a voice in your head claiming to be God you test that spirit God commands you to
You even test my spirit. You go to Jesus Christ and you ask Jesus Christ if what I tell you is true. Do not trust me. Don't take what I say at face value. You only trust Jesus Christ. You got that? Stay well.